Hey there, this is going to be a tutorial on how to reach the platform that you see down left of the screen that has the little box into it. Uh, you're going to need hover boots for that one. And then from that very platform, how to reach the path that is underneath so that you can go check the hint and check what's behind the waterfall. So let's get started. The angle you're going to need is the angle of the wall. So you just target the wall wherever you like it. And then you're going to place Link's top of hat a little bit left of the wall. It's really not precise. The wall is going to push you anyway. What I like to do is I target between those two dark patches and then crouch step twice to the right and turn around. That will just do it. After that, equip hover boots and you're going to start back walking. After you back walk, you want to side hop as late as you can, but not too late because otherwise it just won't side hop. There is a sound cue if you listen to the hover boot sound. So let's just hear it a couple times. Okay, so it goes and then runs off. So there is like two and then at the very beginning of the third one, it just cuts. So you want to side hop at the end of the second one. So it goes like and then you want to jump slash, but not too early because you want Link to get close to the wall. You're going to want to recall on that wall. So it goes like and that should be like a good rhythm. It's really not that precise, but it's just so you get an idea of it. You want to keep your hover boots to start the jump slash and then press pause to equip Kokira boots. So the reason why you want to keep your hover boots for the jump slash is that you're going to still keep sliding backward. Like the jump slash is not gonna go forward and completely stop your backward momentum. And you're trying to reach a platform that is behind you. So the more backward you go, the better. Then before the jump slash hits, you want to switch to Kokiri boots so that you get the full momentum backward, okay? If you have Kokiri boots on, then the recoil is just gonna throw you back almost instantly. You'll get the full speed of the recoil as soon as it hits. If you keep the hover boots, then the recoil is going to get the momentum, but it will just take forever to build that momentum up. Let me just show you. See, it looks like nothing happened and now it's starting to go backward. So it just took forever for that momentum to actually uh, have any sort of effect on Link. So that's why just before it hits, you want to switch to Kokiri boots. There is switch to Kokiri boots. I keep holding target and down. And I'm on the platform so I can bonk in there. Then you want to target this wall and turn to the left. You want to be quite far from the edge because you're going to want to hit the edge at full speed. That's very important so that the data I'm going to show you uh, is actually working. So you target here, turn around and then back walk. And now you're going to have three frames to jump slash. The first one is when his arm is aligned with the edge of the platform. So it's this frame, that's your first frame to jump slash, and you just keep holding target and down, and you will land uh, on the path that is behind you underneath. You have the two next frames that will work. So his ears are aligned to the edge, and now top of hat is barely touching the edge. Okay, that's your three frames with Master Sword. If you had Bigorn Sword equipped, and out, you would have one more, which is the one right after that. So you press B to jump slash, keep holding down and target, and you're there. Now one last cue, uh, if you look at the triangle, when the back of the triangle hits the border of the map, it's time to turn around and read the hint. I hope all these cues help. 
Um, this trick is really useful if you want to check the valley uh, as an adult and uh, I hope you have fun with that. <laughs> 